Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saik and we're playing Legendary Iron Man of uh, the Better One version of this mod. And after having a difficult mission in our supply raid today is going to be a more straightforward mission. Not that that is going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination, but we're just destroying an alien relay. Our SWAT for today is going to be led by Fury, who's our Templar, Roby, Gunner, Sharpshooter, Taxman, um, as well as uh, cover removal plus a few soldiers. Um, it's most likely going to be a normally difficult mission. And uh, as a reward, we are looking for 23 Intel and an Intel package. So let's get into the mission and see how difficult it really is. And here we go, starting on high ground. That's what I like to see. Straight up ahead is the target. Ooh, that's an interesting start. So let us start exploring a little bit. This is a pretty dense map, so I wouldn't be surprised if we're directly running into something. Trying to keep concealment for now. Mm. This this here would be the best shooting angles. Putting our specialist into full cover. Grenadier to the front for cover removal. And I would like to put Roby on the other side. Good. Lots of overwatching. I would like to steady weapons if possible, but we. Uh, I think I have de uh, demontaged the stocks. Steady weapon, an ability that has been in invented for Long War. For Long War One, mm, is pretty good, but uh, with the limited timers of XCOM Two, it really fell off. It used to be kind of the go-to when you are doing something, yeah. But nowadays, it is no longer that. They're patrolling this area. All right, we're looking at two packs that we're potentially triggering. But I'm okay with it. So. Full cover here for Puppy. We're going to overwatch. Our sniper is going to overwatch as well. Can't crit, but we'll get no penalties either. And I'm either thinking that we're opening with a chain shot or alternatively, I mean, the precise, uh, precise shot is really good as well for targets outside of cover, but that will not give us the option to light him up, um, which is really his core ability. So we're instead going to go with a chain shot. Let's go for the sergeant first. I'd like to kill this guy. Of 
course, we're missing. And that'll trigger the second pack. Okay. Good enough or fair enough. Fury can theoretically charge in individually take them out seventy one percent to kill this guy eighty one percent come on just hit it thank you This here is a flanking position against one of the troopers. And that should be a kill. That is not going to be a kill. However, we could stand right in front of him and parry. Well Alright, there's the parry. The first pack should act first. So that's going to be a shot into parry. And now He's in full cover, plus has the most hit points. Probably going to be a stasis, yep. And that's another shot into full cover. So far we're doing fine. Kill two. And unfortunately had a few misses, elsewise we would have killed even more. No, we actually killed three, sorry, two from the first pack, one from the second pack. Alright. Let's get rid of the drone first. Reload, and that's a 50-50 for a kill. Not even close. Did not hit. Move up to here into half cover. Roby moves up. Our sniper has a 60% chance to kill the trooper. And there we go, nice one. We are steadying weapon for next round. Moving into a flanking position. I've got eyes on an advent position. I 
I think this here is almost more valuable than moving in. This is most likely going to kill the Advent um, Captain and will soften everything else up. There we go. Time for the drone to die. Roby kills it with ease and we're taking one shot into flanking. Nice little crit for 12. Alright, that's going to be a flanking shot. Unfortunately, not much that I... Oh no, it's not. It's mind control. I was about to say not much that I can do against a flanking shot. I can do a lot against mind control. So we killed like what? Two drones? Six people? Thanks to our steady weapon. We can easily hit into full cover. Reload and another steady weapon. Ah, yeah, we got the elite, uh, the elite um, module here, so that's a twenty-five bonus to hit. For a sniper, it definitely makes sense. Taking the loot. And we're maybe triggering another pack. Where, where to? Moving into cover. And I'd like to slowly but surely get everyone else up here as well. Full cover, full cover. And full cover. Half cover for nasty. Yeah, I'm, these positions here are deceiving because uh, you would like to take them, but unfortunately they open so much line of sight that I can almost guarantee we're going to find enemies uh, back there. So instead we're standing here in full cover and we're overwatching. Got, it covered. Got two overwatches, which is okay. So we killed two full packs plus two drones, that's eight down which means five to seven more to go. I bet you we're looking at two normal packs. I guess that'll be okay. Moving into full cover high ground. We saw already that there was a pack here. Again, moving into high ground. Yet again, we saw that there were enemies. This here might as well trigger them. Two sectors, one spectre. All right. Okay, we're starting with an attempt to hopefully remove some of the cover. Not sure if we're going to be successful.
Well, none of the cover has been removed thanks to uh, the much hardened cover rules in Long, uh, in Long War. Do we have long watch? Squad side, steady hands. No, we can't take overwatch shots on squad side, unfortunately. Moving into full cover. We're continuing to go for the Spectre. Fifty-fifty to hit it. A lot of grazing shots. So we know with all three here, we do have uh, nine, eleven. There's one additional last pack. It's a pretty high chance if I was to charge in to pull that last pack. So I don't want to do that yet. Fury so far has been a non-factor, hasn't received any kills. Hasn't really meaningfully contributed to anything. And we're not going to take 80%, 18% pistol shot. We're just going out of line of sight. As for our sniper. I like the idea of the high ground here. But I think getting into the high ground where the others are currently positioned would be much more beneficial. Half cover counts as full cover for him, so that position here isn't too bad. We're probably going to see Shadowbound plus um, a mind control. There is the Shadowbound. Now let's hope that they're not mind controlling our specialist. That would suck a little bit. Yeah, we could we can kill the Spectre there. Got a reanimation. And there is the attempt for mind control, which was resisted, and thanks to our continent bonus, we're not even going to be panicked. Two additional drones, which uh, will make it 13. So if there is another pack. It is definitely only a pack of two, then. Thanks to base, uh, basic math, you could figure that out. Roby's being revived. Roby is being revived. Good. Let's take a look. 71% and 50. Okay. 
We're getting rid of the drone first. That didn't do much. Okay. Maybe not. We gotta kill the Spectre first, but I didn't want to use lots of our resources. Our Sniper can only see the Spectre, so might as well take the shot here. Okay, so... I want F Fury to get a kill. Just checking the percentage chances here. So let's get rid of the drone first. Another grazing shot, by the way. Apparently the drones can dodge the damage quite well. Good, we're reloading with Roby. Let's see if we can get the sector down. He's in kill range for Fury. Question is, shall we advance to here, use a grenade to explode this, and then charge in with fury? That'll kill. That'll kill uh, the zombie here as well. We know it's the last pack. So might as well rapid deploy. I mean, we could simply take him out with a flashbang. I think that's the right way to play it. My reasoning for it would be, I just don't want to take any risk. Uh, this here will kill the... Um, the zombie. We have a hundred percent kill right here. Finally, we're getting ourselves some focus. We're parrying just in case something happens. Reload. And Overwatch. Everyone's in full cover now. The sector can only walk a very small distance. And something is awkwardly off. Because I was counting. And I'm pretty sure I did not miscount. We killed six in the first two packs that we engaged. Two drones. That's eight. A pack of three. Double sectored plus... Um, plus Spectre, that is 11, two additional drones, that's 13, so this here, the, the overall count is off. Hasn't happened before, like ever. Moving into full cover. Reinforcements will be incoming next turn.
That seems to be a nasty viper. Viper Serranus? I don't even know that that anime type. We're sticking with full cover here. I think Fury want, might want to get our 8 protocol. Hitting the sector barely. Keeping our high ground. Let's continue with the sector. All right, getting our sniper in a full cover position to take shots. Overwatch for Puppy. Overwatch. And now the question is whom should we attack? I mean, I like the idea of Void Conduiting, but we have too little. focus at the moment so we primarily got to work on the focus meaning we got to create kills got ourselves a second focus I nice set a, a set of valerium cores And if we position ourselves here, the Viper will have a hard time getting a flank on us. Reinforcements will be coming in now. Stun Lancer and a mech, which is unfortunate. Almost killed the Viper. Yeah, Bound is not too problematic, it just deals one point of damage. Alright. First things first, let's get the Viper down. We're moving to here in the hopes of being able to see the Mac. If, if you say so. I don't even want it to get a turn. Ninety-seven percent, great. Chain shot, even better. Come on, let's kill this guy. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it going. Perfect. Check it before you get too close. Uh, 
We only got that 50-50 here. Willing to take it. Did not work out, but that's fine. Setting up the stun lancer. Fifty fifty for a hit, the grenade would not deal enough damage to make it a secure kill. Like I said, not enough damage. We could, however, get into another full cover position over here. I am, to be honest, mainly afraid about the stun lancer, afraid of the stun lancer. So this here. As long as it deals two points of damage, should be enough to get him into a leather range. We're now charging in. That's a kill. We can parry. And we're finally at full focus. not taking 19% shots instead reload and overwatch everyone is in full cover so the trooper there has not a lot of options this here is a parry I don't know why it's a reflect it should be a parry Parry is somewhat br broken. The first one definitely should have been a parry. All right, moving in. Almost. Hmm. So, my thought process is how can we get this guy here. Moving in. 21%. Holy cow. That is really bad. 
Moving a little bit closer. Okay, that's better. Alright, that's a kill. And we know additional reinforcements are incoming. Time for us to parry. Taxman here moves up into a full cover position. And we are moving up so that we can take shots at our target next turn. Also got to finish the data transfer. Finally, now is a good time to get an evac request in. Overwatch. Well, that's pretty strong enemy forces right there. Unfortunately, we only had one overwatch. Good, we got enough time still. Ah. That is unfortunate. Moving into a better position. Going to at least kill the grenadier here. Target neutralized. Burn its ammo fast. Ready to go. Roby can only reload and take a shot. At least he's progressing towards the goal. Hmm. Let's think that through. So Inverting wouldn't end our turn. Six to seven. Hmm. I don't see an obvious play here. Let's do this. I want to have one flank and not two.
We're then moving up to here. Can no longer fully kill him. Ninety percent chance to hit him, okay. And the others are only forty percent chances, so not really not really a good proposition. Instead we're moving over here. I guess that will be okay. Point blank shotgun. If you ask yourself why have I moved Roby, um, Fury beforehand, I wanted to go give him the option to parry, and if the shotgun would have killed it, he wouldn't have enough movement to, to actually attack someone in, in melee. Also, his melee attacks theoretically have a chance to create focus, even if he does not kill the enemy. Good, because with parry, Things are looking way different. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a smart move. I'll give him that. Alien reinforcements, inbound. reinforcements are coming next turn. Rock and roll. One down, steady weapon. Let's get rid of the target. Moving to here. Closing on target position now. And we're almost done with the alien transmitter I'm ready. reload and let's destroy it there we go good moving into the center here it's gonna be our over only overwatch And there's the last focus back again. Ouch. We get a lot of hit points for reinforcements now. Good. That'll be a parry. Or he just decides to not shoot at all. Which is also fine. A 
Let's take down the sentry first. 100% shot. Enemy eliminated. And we're going to steady the weapon again. We're going to reload. Good to go. And precision shot. Because this here is going to kill him. Nice little crit for 16. This here is an optimal distance so that we're not getting disadvantages from being too close with our heavy weapon. Into flanking 100% and let's get rid of the rocket here. Gosh, on 20% chance to hit, that's not really good. 50-50. Either. So, but luckily, once we kill him, we can go into parry, and that's pretty much going to be. Oh, he's pretty much going to be our target for the shield bearer. Overwatch and done. It's getting a bit more intense than I would have anticipated originally. Aim. Meta effect all of the walls. Completely being bursted. Like all of this here is being shot through. New hostiles are coming. Which means we're just going to finish him. And let's make sure. Let's do this. Reload Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. We still gotta fight wh uh, whatever is coming. Scanning. Let's do this. On Overwatch. Mainly because there is another round until evac. I have barely typed the evac just a bit too slow. Yeah, and we're looking at four enemies again. But this time a bit lower hit point targets. Well, I think we killed almost all of them. Multiple hostiles advancing on our position. Good. One more round. Same deal. Now the reinforcements are going to come, uh, come in every single round. Overwatch, reload Overwatch, reload Overwatch, reload Overwatch, reload Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. 
yourself. I'm on it. Scanning. Got it covered. Good. Same deal again. This time we don't even need to fight them afterwards. We can simply get out of here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. They are dropping more and more hit points. Five enemies now, by the way. Wow. Yeah, and even with full overwatches, we're not completely getting them down. Yeah, look at that, another wave of reinforcements. Luckily for us, We can simply go. What's over there? Papa moves. And gets out of here. Okay. Good riddance. All reserves. Heading home. Close enough. Nasty just gets out of here. We don't need to kill the rest. Just wanted to make sure the mech is not interrupting us. Roby gets out of here. Fury gets out of here, and our sniper Taxman gets out of here as well. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Let's go. And that's it. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. More difficult than I would have anticipated, but also clearly not 15 to uh, 13 to 15 enemies so the mission descriptions are just a tiny bit off and here we go four promotions that is pretty neat we get ourselves the field search and trade reduced uh, recovery time is always advisable taxman Oh my gosh, probably going for that eye here. Not only probably we're going for that eye. I wonder, is that only units visible at squad sites do <coughs> confer bonus? Okay, perfect. In which case that is perfect for him. Uh, the reason why that is so good is we need crit in order to trigger Kurbikiri uh, with a critical shot it automatically kills and having additional crit just from the bring it on ability is extremely good. It'll essentially allow us to not take aggression. Oh, bring it on was damage, my bad. Okay, aggression would have been good as well, uh, but we can simply use um, a laser sight. Well, that's not a problem either. Good, we're going for center mass here. So, as for him, I like...
I like the critical damage portion. But this here is even more important, Combat Engineer. I'm considering whether or not we might want to go for Chain Shot. I mean, we're definitely going for Salvo here. I like the ability to take extra shots. And he had a decent aim, so might as well try that. Kubikiri is super good, so we're definitely taking that one. Good. Back to the grind. Let's take a look at uh, the world map for a second, guys. Now that we've successfully finished that mission. Oh, hell yeah, we're going to get some rookies. That means we finally can expand our roster. I like that. Avenger plotting new course. And look at that, security breach. Um, thanks to our very good um, Haven advisor, we can now finally um, get rid of a mole and we're definitely going to do that. Uh, so that's going to be our next uh, mission, guys. Just what I've been waiting for. Uh, that's happening in the next episode though. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're uh, steering. Uh, we're, we're steering just according to plan. Absolutely like where this is going. Again, thanks for the support of the series, and I hope you enjoy the run just as much as I do. See you in the next episode, and don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below. See ya, and bye bye. <laughs>